So you arrive in the office in the morning and your team's waiting for you. They've been there all night looking for a better way, a better way to look at the product, to look at the market, a better process for creating your solutions. They thrive on change and they are eager for it in every day. Wow, that's every leader's holy grail, isn't it? Especially in today's modern world where change is happening constantly in our markets and our economies. When the rule is change or be left in the dust. And yet, how do we create that successful change, that need for change, when our people are really change avoidant? I mean, we've all seen it. Our people turn into deer in the headlights, hanging on to the way they've always done it, at the mere mention of even a small change. Have you ever wondered why we humans are just so resistant to change? Well, thanks to neuroscience, we now know that answer. You see, we're not resistant and we're not stubborn. We're simply our human minds in actions. Because you see, our human minds love patterns. The more we have pattern in our unconscious mindware and our programming, the more information we can take in from the rest of our world because we're not busy processing patterns that we already know. So our unconscious mind actually creates patterns on what it expects, to, what, it, what it expects us to see in a report, how the behavior should be, how the process should be, etc. And we store all these patterns and act on them. And the thing is, when something is different, when it's perceived as different, presented as different than that pattern, our unconscious mind sees that new aspect as a threat. That's right. It sees it as a threat and triggers a threat chemical which automatically puts us into survival mind. And when we humans are in survival mind, the prime directive is to hang on to the status quo no matter what, to seek safety and comfort. So as leaders, every time we try to introduce a change into our teams, we're triggering their threat responses and they hunker down in the status quo bias and don't look for any other solution. So how can you as a leader lead your teams out of this survival mind. Well, the great news is that thanks to the discoveries of neuroscience, influential leaders can now lead our teams out of the status quo and into mindsets where our teams literally learn to thrive on change, to seek it in every aspect of our businesses, our, our efforts, wherever we're doing it, in schools, in business, in teams, and whatever. Imagine the power to create successful change to lead your teams to thrive on change. You have that power. It's all in your mind.